what is up? It's Kimberly. For those of y'all that don't know me, hi, hello. My name is Kimberly. I'm an American and I make videos about Germany. So if that's your cup of tea, if that's your thing, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. It is absolutely free, but means the world to me and it just helps grow this channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that I have addressed in previous videos, but I've never really expanded on, and I think it's a video that y'all would be interested in. I recently made a video about sex in the US versus sex in Germany, and it got really good responses, and I was very surprised about that. It was a video that I was nervous to make, and so I decided, what the heck, why not? I'm gonna keep on going with the controversial topics. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the food culture in the U.S. versus in Germany. Again, it's more so a rant than straight bullet points and differences. So first off, I think I should preface this with the fact that I was an anomaly for American food culture. By that, I mean that I grew up very healthy. I grew up loving fruits, vegetables hardly ate candy or fast food. My mom really limited my consumption of that. I remember on Halloween, for example, all my friends would eat a lot of candy and my mom would say, pick four or five pieces of candy and that's all you get to eat tonight. So I definitely grew up eating lots of healthy foods. Um, and I did notice that it was a little bit different compared to my friends. I had a lot of overweight friends growing up um, and I noticed that they would eat things that were just quicker and easier to consume. So when I moved to Germany, I noticed quickly that Germans viewed food and activity a lot differently than Americans do. And to be honest with you guys, when I moved to Germany, I gained quite a bit of weight versus what I was weighing in the US. But again, I think that is because I'm an anomaly, anomaly, I can't even say it, anomaly. Um, I tend to eat a lot more when I'm in Germany because I absolutely love the food versus when I'm in the US I tend to make stricter habits and routines that limit my food intake that limit exactly what I'm eating. So I'm really going to be speaking from a general talk, general speak, what I've noticed overall in Germany versus in the US. Again, this is a topic that is really sensitive because again, guys, I don't like it when I hear a lot of people joking about the obesity problem in America. The thing is, it's not just Americans being lazy, it's that our culture is set up for people to fail when it comes to food habits. So let's talk about the American lifestyle. In America, we tend to be a super fast paced culture, we work a lot, and we're always on the go and our food culture is also that way. So we have tons of conveniently placed fast food drive throughs pretty much everywhere. If you live in rural America, it's pretty much a given that you're going to have a post office, um, a city hall, and one or two fast food chains, Dairy Queen, McDonald's, those are like the staples for rural America. Versus in Germany, it's increasingly becoming more and more common where you do have fast food chains, it is more readily available, but again, it's not to the extent like in America. You can still have villages in Germany that have zero fast food restaurants, and the whole concept of drive throughs is just not as common in Germany as in America. And there's a lot of dangerous things with the fast food culture in America. For one, let's look at McDonald's. McDonald's is one of the leading businesses, companies in the world. It is insane. If you go to Bali, you will find a McDonald's. It's one of those fast food chains that has globalized. And here's the sick thing about McDonald's is that it's such a big thing and they do such a good job of luring children to eat at their restaurants. When you think about Happy Meals, when you think about the playground and all of that. So kids in America specifically are getting used to eating at 
McDonald's at a very early age and those habits, your eating habits, usually carry with you into your adulthood. So think about all of the kids that are eating McDonald's every single day, that's carrying into adulthood. They're becoming increasingly more addicted and the reason why these foods are so addictive is because they're a lot more palatable. Um, the foods in America tend to be a lot more sweeter or a lot more salty. And in America, we have very advanced taste technology. So essentially what I mean by this is we have all of these taste testers. We have these type of formulas that we use in our foods to see what is the correct palate to make it addictive. So when you go into a bag of Doritos, you can't just eat one or two because your taste buds are essentially addicted. They're in this state, your taste buds are in this state, um, and they're at this point where it has become a highly addictive food. It's become the perfect amount of sweet and the perfect amount of salty to make you want to eat more. If you guys are asking how I know that, it's because I was a nutritional science major for one year and I learned that during my one year of nutritional science. So instantly when I went to Germany, I realized that the food there is just not as palatable, which is good because when you eat something that's really, really sweet, you now have this new threshold. So when you're used to overly sweet food, your taste buds say, hey, I need something that is this sweet or else um, it's not gonna be satisfying. And in Germany, the sweetness is just not as high as American sweetness. You can definitely tell that in desserts. So sometimes when I eat German sweets, I do feel unsatisfied. I do miss something that's really sweet. I do have a huge sweet tooth. So sometimes I can find myself being a little bit disappointed by German pastries because my threshold for sweetness is very high. Random side note, but that is also why artificial sugars is not good for you. Not, not like it's not necessarily horrible for you, but the reason why I say that is because there's some research that suggests that by consuming artificial sugar, yes, including stevia, you're increasing your threshold for sweetness because natural sugar is just a lot less sweeter than artificial sugars, than stevia, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, paired with the idea of that in America we have highly palatable food, we also have this food culture that's very fast paced. Again, we have that drive through consumer food culture. We have this culture where when we go into restaurants, you chomp down on your meal and then you're out of there. And I can definitely tell from a firsthand experience that this is something that is very different for Germans. Um, when Max goes out to eat with my parents, I think my parents and I, we are on the extreme side of fast eaters. I am an extremely fast eater as well as my parents and when we go to the restaurant, we don't play games. As soon as we get our food, we are eating it and then we're out. Versus Max is used to longer meal times with his parents and they are all extremely slow eaters. So it's been interesting because I've definitely had to slow down my eating and Max has definitely had to speed up his eating because I do find myself getting a little impatient. But it, in Germany, it's more common to sit down, really enjoy your meal and to have conversation. It's a really big social experience, especially if you're eating out. I've actually gotten a lot of comments from Germans saying that the reason why they don't eat out in Germany is because it's more expensive. From my own experience, it's really not that expensive. I think in a lot of cases I have found that eating out in Germany is cheaper than eating out in the US. Um, eating out in the US is very costly in my opinion and I have friends that do this every single day. I literally know a handful of people that eat fast food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we haven't even gotten to the fact that the portion sizes in the US are a lot bigger. So paired with the fact that it's highly palatable, super sweet, super salty food, paired with the fact that um, it's a fast eating culture, so you're eating it quickly, with on top of that, that the portion sizes are tremendously bigger, we're set up for failure. I mean, if you're eating fast, you don't have enough time to reach those hunger and 
fullness signals in your stomach telling you, hey, you're full, stop. So it, we just have that eating culture where it is set up for other people to overeat. And this might be a little bit controversial, but I think that it is an important thing that I do need to talk about. But I think talk about weight in the US versus in Germany is just a lot different. In Germany, from what I notice, is that if somebody's overweight, if somebody's pudgy, Germans tend to be more direct about it. They don't have a problem with telling their friends or family, hey, you're gaining weight, you're looking chubbier, and being a bit more shameful about it versus in the US, it's more of a body positivity movement happening. We try to accept all bodies uh, for every single size, even if it is unhealthy. So there's a lot of controversy right now with that in America. A lot of doctors are saying that, hey, if you're overweight, it's unhealthy. And then a lot of the body, positiv body positivity leaders think that that is really wrong. Again, I'm not stating my stance. I'm just saying that that is what I've noticed in Germany versus in the US. And now let's talk about the price of groceries. I think this is also significant. Um, so a lot of Americans say that groceries, eating healthy here is just more expensive and I do think that is true. I think a lot of people do use that as an excuse because there are ways to buy groceries a bit cheaper and to eat healthier because in my opinion it is still more expensive to go out to eat for every single meal. I do think that adds up and I do think that's not cheaper than eating in. but. To buy groceries in Germany, it definitely is significantly cheaper. Um, Max and I just spent $200 at the grocery store yesterday, and I guarantee you if we would have bought all that food in Germany, it would have cost us $100 max. Uh, so groceries here are significantly more expensive, but there are ways to combat the prices in America. I think that farmers markets here in the US, it's this amazing concept where it's open market and you get to buy fresh food from the farmers directly. That can be pretty cheap. Not if it's neat, but produce, it can be pretty cheap in my opinion. Again, I hope this gave y'all some insight into the food culture differences between the US and Germany. The US has this very sad, obese, problem which unfortunately Europe does tend to follow the footsteps of the US. So this is a huge problem and I'm hoping that it will change because this will affect many generations to come. I think we are kind of going through this little health movement in the US. I'm hoping that it is enough to really change people's permanent habits. But unfortunately with fast food chains expanding at an exponential growth, I don't see this issue slowing down. Again, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please let me know down in the comments below what you thought about this video. And if you liked it, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys so much. And I will see y'all next time. Ciao, tschüss, bis dann.